So my first experience with deep sea bioluminescence was in a metal deep sea diving suit, a single person submersible called WASP. And it was called that not because it's an acronym or anything, it's just people thought it kind of looked like the insect with its tubular yellow body and Michelin man arms with pincers on the end uh, and a uh, bubble head. It was actually developed for the offshore oil industry for diving on oil rigs down to 2,000 feet. But I was lucky enough to be included with a group of scientists that were testing it for the first time as a tool for exploring what was then and still is the least explored largest habitat on our planet, the midwater. So my first open ocean dive was in the Santa Barbara Channel they lowered me down on this cable uh, in the WASP uh, and to 800 feet. It was a late evening dive, and I turned out the lights. And I did so because I was hoping that I would see bioluminescence. But I was just completely unprepared for what I actually saw. In fact, what I saw actually changed the course of my career. After the expedition was over, I gave an interview to our local newspaper, and they asked me, so what's it like down there? And I blurted out, it's like the 4th of July, uh, which of course got quoted in the paper, and for which I took a considerable amount of ribbing from my colleagues, as that being a pretty unscientific statement. But I have lost track over the years of the number of times that I've taken first-timers down to show them this light show, and I heard them describe it as being like the 4th of July or a fireworks display. Because what I saw were these squirts and swirls and spurts of glittering brilliance all around me. But unlike a fireworks display, it wasn't all the colors of the rainbow. It was the most vivid blues ever to grace an artist's palette. Azure, lapis, cobalt, just unbelievable blues because they were emitting instead of reflecting light. And I wasn't viewing this fireworks display from afar. I was actually in the center of, it, center of it. In fact, I was kind of part of it because any movement I made would create cascades of sparkles all around me. And if I activated the thrusters, the propellers that were my propulsion, I'd get these vortices of liquid cobalt blue light coming up out of them. And mixed in would be these sparks that were neon blue. They look like the embers that you see when you cast a log onto a campfire, only icy blue embers. It was just absolutely breathtaking, but it was also very confusing because, first of all, by that point in my career, I knew enough about bioluminescence to know it takes a lot of energy. And, you know, it's created by living creatures. So what the heck was going on down there that, that there was this much life and light that there seemed to be so little understanding of. 